Hello, all you friends of felines and cat-loving YouTubers, and welcome to my very first video. Today, I wanted to kick it off and talk to you about a type of cat that I'm sure you're all familiar with, calicos and tortoiseshells, or torties for short. These are actually the result of the same genetic pattern, and we're going to examine them, of course, also admire their extreme cuteness. Perhaps the most amazing fact about these cats is that all of them, except perhaps about 0.03%, are female. The reason why is quite literally written all over their lovely coats. You may already be aware that for all mammals, the sex of the animal is determined by X and Y chromosomes. Females have two X chromosomes, and males have one X and one Y chromosome. What you may not know is that the X chromosome is larger compared to the Y chromosome, and thus the Y carries fewer genes. Genes that are carried on the X chromosome vary on the species. When it comes to cats, one of several genes on the X chromosome determines fur color. This X gene has two versions, one that carries coding for orange fur and another that carries coding for black fur. So right away, we can see that since the female has two X's and the male only has one, why the females can have more variation in their fur color, there's just genetically more chances there. Now, if a female cat's XX chromosomes read orange-orange, this would result in an all-orange female, or you might call a marmalade or ginger cat. Same thing goes if they read not orange and not orange, which ultimately means brown or black. This would result in a brown-black female. But if a female's chromosomes read orange and not orange, then we can see a calico or torty kitten is in the making. Now, here's where it can get a little hairy or furry. That was a terrible joke. In the development of the fetus, there is a point where one of the X chromosomes in each cell is inactivated. Because you can't have two X chromosomes telling the cell to do the same thing twice, X inactivation switches off one chromosome, leaving only one functioning X set in each cell. X inactivation occurs only once in each cell in a developing fetus. And also, which one gets switched off or inactivated is totally random. So if the cell has the chromosome with the orange version turned off, then that cell's going to produce coding for brown-black fur. But that doesn't mean the cell next door is going to do the same thing. In that cell, the orange or black version could be inactivated, and that would result in coding for orange fur. So we end up with cells that have some active orange genes and others that have active black genes. As the fetus further develops, it will result in orange, brown, or black patches of varying shape and sizes on the coat of the kitten. And as for the boys, it's very simple. They only have one X chromosome. Males do not have the chromosomes to produce the other versions, and that's why they're just one or the other, orange or black. Either way, they're incredibly cute. I think we can all agree on. I hope you've enjoyed my video today. Please click subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more cute cat videos, and I'll see you soon.